Okay, today I'm going to do a review of these kettlebell guards from Kettle Guard. These, uh, I like these kettlebell guards. They're very effective. They're, uh, you're able to use them in kettlebell sport competitions. Another thing I really like about these is that uh, different than a number of other kettlebell guards I've used before, the little plastic pieces come out and you can replace them. So instead of having to purchase a whole other set of kettlebell guards, you can purchase the plastic pieces, replace them, and I think they'll last quite a long time. So um, when you're doing kettlebell work, one of the main problems that I see for individuals or one of the drawbacks for people is that they're smashing their wrists. Now, I will tell you this. Any kettlebell guard you buy, if you're doing the technique wrong and smashing your wrist, you're going to bruise. So the, I, I believe the kettlebell guards combined with good technique is the best approach. But I do believe, even with good technique, that kettlebell guards are effective because here's the deal. So I've got my competition um, adjustable kettlebell from Kettlebell Kings, right? So I'm doing snatches, right? And so depending on how heavy I'm going, because I can load this up to 70 pounds, just being in this position, I can feel the weight of that bell sitting on my wrist. So without the kettle guard, uh, I don't, I, you know, obviously I'm going to feel it more. And whether I bruise or not, over time, you kind of build up a resilience to that. But again, I don't want to feel that pressure or that weight on the wrist. If I'm going heavy, here's my 34 kilogram from Kettlebell Kings. And I pull that into a clean position. Again, it's, it's heavy. It sits on the wrist heavy. It's nice to have that guard to protect, okay? If we're using um, iron kettlebells, so I'm going to use my, oh, I like this so much, I'm going to use my skull, my skull bell from Iron Company, and obviously you don't need specialty kettlebells, but if I'm using specialty kettlebells, they might sit a little differently. Anytime, actually, any iron kettlebells are going to sit a little bit differently, and so when I'm using these different positions, okay, Obviously, it might sit a little funny on my wrist. I mean, this sits really well in the pocket. It sits well in the snatch. But again, depending on the weight, even if I'm doing good technique, even if I'm not slamming, you see I'm not slamming any of these movements, again, just that weight sitting on your wrist tends to just cause a lot of pressure and discomfort. So do I recommend them? I absolutely do. Kettle guard, take a look at it if you're interested. Buy them. Don't let the pain on the wrist or the bruising, things like that, cause you to not train kettlebells because kettlebell work is one of the most effective strength and conditioning moves you could possibly do for strength, for conditioning, for your cardio. It's amazing. Stay strong. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you next time.